Hi everyone, this is Tom Jager from EE Harbor. Thanks for taking a look at Transcribe version 1.5. In this version we focused on three main items in addition to the usual bug fixes. The three main areas are performance, structure integration, and right to left support. In this version of Transcribe, we implemented a lot of runtime query caching, which has resulted in dramatic decreases in the number of queries Transcribe uses. The next area we focused on for this release was integration with structure. Integration with structure is one of the most requested additions of Transcribe. In this version, we're happy to make it publicly available. To structure, in conjunction with Transcribe, you really just continue to build sites as you normally would with structure. If you click on structure, you'll notice that we currently have two languages set up, English and French. Transcribe currently has four languages defined in it, English, French, Arabic, and Hebrew. If you look at the English here, the order is home, about, and contact, and in French, it's home, contact, and about, which you'll also see reflected on the front end of the site here. For the English version, home, about, and contact, and for French, it's home, contact, about. So why don't we just move the order of the French to match the English? And as it should behave, it now updates on the front end of our site as well. Adding an additional language tree to structure is as simple as adding any page to structure. You simply click Add Page. In this case, we'll add an AR Home for Arabic. And we'll just do AR Home Body Test. Then we'll go over to our Transcribe tab, choose Arabic, and we'll go ahead and relate it to our home entries. And hit Submit. As you'll now notice, we have a Arabic tab in Structure. The third main area we focused on with this release of Transcribe was adding additional right-to-left support. We would often have people write us and say, hey, we love Transcribe, but is there anything you can do to make right-to-left languages smoother in Expression Engine? I just don't like all the template logic that needs to be added to support right-to-left languages. As a result, we created what we're referring to as dynamic field replacement. In order to use this feature, you simply go into your field group for a given channel and add a new field. In this case, you'll notice we already have a body field defined. So let's go ahead and create the right-to-left version of this field. This is a wigwam field, body RTL. So what we simply do is we add a suffix of double underscore and then your language prefix. So AR for Arabic. And we also have Hebrew, so we'll do a single underscore HE, which will tell Transcribe to use this field whenever Arabic or Hebrew are the current languages on the site. We'll also go ahead and use our right-to-left configuration of Wigwam. So from here, we'll go back to Structure. We'll go to our Arabic entry. And we'll see our right-to-left field. Here, we'll just go ahead and do a little test. RTL, AR, body. And we'll hit Submit. Let's go ahead and take a look at our template here. What you'll notice is we have a single body tag. We do not have a body double underscore AR single underscore HE tag, just a body tag. And if we go back to our site here and we refresh, you'll now notice that it is pulling the content from the right to left field and our content is now right aligned. Thanks for taking a look at Transcribe 1.5. We hope you guys love it and we'd love to hear your feedback.